Alright, hi again. I'm going to make a tutorial now on how to get this rocket dock up at the top of your screen. Um, now, obviously I'm using Windows Vista. I have Windows Vista Home Premium going, and I'll just open this to show you. Vista Home Premium, 2.2 uh, GHz processor, 3 gigs of RAM, and a 512 meg graphics card. Okay. Um, so this is how I got the rocket dock. I will open this. I'm uploading a video. This is my internet browser and just go uh, to Google and search rocket rocket doc um, again this is freeware I do lots of reviews on freeware and the first result will be rocketdoc.com go ahead and click on it and it'll take you to the rocketdoc.com website what is it well it's a smoothly alpha yeah, smoothly animated alpha blended application launcher that's just what it is it's an application launcher it's very very simple you go to the, you simply go to the download link, the download tab at the top, and you can download a, an earlier version of it, but I would suggest downloading the latest version. Um, this is what I'm running right now, the 1.3.5 version. And once you download it and install it, it'll put it on your desktop and you'll have it to mess around with. So, I, right now, I have a few things in my dock, not a whole ton, but I've got a few. I have um, my internet applications and CCleaner, which I showed you guys. I did it to, um, actually I'm uploading right now. No, that's not it. But I, up, I just uploaded a uh, review on CCleaner. My office documents and a photo editor called GIMP. My email client called Bird. Skype, this is just communications. This is other tools. This is for my scanning on my uh, all in one printer. This is media, and this is what was already on it. Um, so, in here we can edit our dock settings. Uh, there are several tabs. It's very simple. First of all, we have the English. The it's basically what language you can record in, and what language you can run this whole application in. I selected Burnett Startup. Um, I don't want to minimize Windows to dock because I actually like the live previews that happen in Windows Vista, so I leave that. Um, I have running application indicators, which is that little dot, that little dot, that little dot, and lock items, which means I can accidentally drag one out. If I didn't lock them, then I could drag one. Um, when you have running application, open running application instance, that means when you click on it, it's going to open it like a quick watch. It's going to open the one that was already open. Uh, icons. I'll select average quality. Okay. Um, that basically just dictates how long it'll take to load and the buffer, the animation. Um, when you change opacity, see it's pretty much opaque right now. If you change it to 50, it's it's um, it's really transparent until you put your mouse over it, which is a cool effect, but it takes a little CPU. Uh, zoom opaque. That's what happens when it turns opaque when you zoom. Uh, size, which changes the size of the icons in the overall dock, and then the zoom effect and the zoom pixels are the size it becomes when you put your mouse over it. So that's cool that you can change that. Also, the width is how much it wants when you mouse over it. And duration, which is how long the animation takes. I have mine at the top of my screen. You can also have it at the bottom, which is down here, like the uh, Mac OS 10 dock. You can have it on the left. And a lot of people have it on the right. I didn't put it there because I have a sidebar open sometimes, so I just leave it at the top, which is standard. And you can also bring it off center or even off of the edge, uh, which is you know interesting. I'll keep it at I'll keep it at zero. Seven six seven. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that's for position. For style, uh, there are tons of themes that come with it, and you can even download more, which I will show you hopefully. Um, you can hit the get more and you will find it from where you downloaded it, which would be from your internet browser. And you can also change the fonts that show up. It says Windows Media Center, but underneath you can change that font and there's your preview right there. Behavior. This is simple. Um, you can have it actually bounce when you click on it or I just, you know, have it darken for an instant like that. Um, that's basically it. 1.3.5. And there are forums, you can update it instead of just um, deleting it and reinstalling. 
Rocket Doc is developed by a fanboy and fangirl on OS X. Well, that, that explains this look. <laughs> Alright, um, you can reset it to the defaults any time if you screw something up and you don't like it. So, here's what it looks like when I click on it. Simple. And now it has a running application instance, and it opens up my Windows 7 calculator. Um, notepad. It just clicks, and you have the thing running. So, I like it. Also, when I unlock the items here, you have the opportunity to drag it out and move it to a different spot. And you still have the little black arrow here, and you can move to wherever you want. Also, you can take something and drag it out, and it'll just poof in a puff smoke. And I can always add a separator where I want it. And I can move that separator around, etc. Now, about add-ons. I will show you add-ons really quickly. Um, this is done, so I can go to Google. <clears throat> and go type in Cam... No, not Cam Studio. I'm still on my last tutorial. Type in Rocket Doc again. And uh, there's usually an add-ons thing here. It's RocketDoc.com again. I'll try to post a link in the description. Go to Get Apps. And this is really cool because uh, you can change different icons that you want for certain things. And I'm going to show you an add-on that I got recently. Here's an icon pack. Here's open office uh, app, uh, icon, a CCleaner icon, which I use the standard CCleaner icon. Um, you can add skins and also a thing called docklets. So I'm going to show you um, stack docklets uh, since I can here. Uh, I think I have enough time. Let's see. Yeah, we're good. So I unlocked it. So right now I can right click here. And add an item. Say to add a clock docklet. That's the clock. I really don't like the clock, but whatever. I can skin it later. Or I want to add a stack docklet. This adds a little transparent icon. It, there's nothing on it when you click on it yet. But I will go to icon settings and change that. Here is something cool. You can change the icon that it looks like, and that will change this. And then you can change the folder where it is directed to. So I'm going to go and find Marcus's, uh, I don't know, 18 wheels of steel. So it opens that, and what icon do we want? We want a rocket. Okay. So now we have a rocket, and what happens when we click on it, it opens that folder. You saw that animation? That is a pretty cool animation. It is what, uh, it's basically one of OS X's animations. It flies out. And I can also use icon settings to change that to a fan instead of a grid, which will send it all the way down my screen like that. If I don't like that, I can always go to icon settings like I don't like it and change it back to grid. Also, if not all the things are here that you want to see, just hit open in folder and it'll open it right up and you can browse from there with the... Um, just in Vista. So I, I like it. I right open the makes and I get all my mods and my trucks. It's pretty cool. Um, but I want that, so I just poof, disappear, lock items, so I never accidentally delete one again. Um, personally, I like it. It's really it's really handy. I don't feel like going to start typing in Safari every single time or starting and looking for Thunderbird. There it is. You know, it it's just, it's, a fa it's faster. <laughs> It's faster, and I just want to show some of my music. I just go in and open it up, and there it is. So, um, that thanks for watching my tutorial, and comment, rate, and start to subscribe. Thanks.